Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and I've been stranded here in the Alaskan bush for the last three days and I am a long way from civilization. I'm not quite sure how things are going to work out but it's up to me to get myself home and uh, one thing's for sure it's going to be an interesting video. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since now What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. There goes my ride. Don't look before you leave. Well guys, that right there was the hurricane train. It's a whistle stop train run by the Alaska Railroad and it's just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere here in the interior of Alaska. And that's what they do. You simply tell them which mile marker you want to get off at and they stop and let you off. And if you need to get picked up, you just wander out on the tracks and you flag them down like flagging down a taxi. This train only runs twice a week, but I'm not planning on flagging it down. I've got something else in mind. But first, I need to get my snowshoes on. Let's see how she pulls. It's the dead of winter here in Alaska and I am truly in the middle of nowhere. This railroad is my only connection to civilization. But here in a few minutes, I'm gonna leave this railroad and I'm gonna start hiking that way. I've got no trail and at least one set of mountains to go over, but I'm gonna try to hike my way back to civilization. And for the next couple nights, I'm gonna be making my own shelter. All right, this is where it gets tricky. I've got to find myself a path through these woods and I've got to climb about 600 feet in elevation. Once I do that, it should open up, but the snow is going to be really soft and deep in there. Right now there's about four and a half feet of snow on the ground. And my snowshoes are just barely keeping me afloat on the top of it. There's a layer of crusty snow on the top. If I put too much force down, or if I try to go up a hill, I bust through that crust, and then I'm in snow up to my knees and thighs. That's why I can't be wearing a backpack. That extra weight will cause me to break through the top crust of snow, and then I go down deep. Even with the snowshoes, this is a lot of work. Let's see. Uh, check this out, some cranberries. If you see berries still on the bush in the middle of winter, that tells you there's not a lot of animals around. Now, I'm not following any trails, so I have to navigate by landmarks. So I'm keeping this gully off to my right, and I'm gonna follow it to the top of a 600 foot bench. All right guys, this is my first major obstacle. I gotta get up this 600 foot bench. But when I'm pulling my sled uphill, it puts a lot of extra weight on my snowshoes and I bust through that snow and I sink way down deep. 
then I'm just wallowing in the snow trying to go uphill. But this is a big make or break moment for this trip. If I can't get up this bench, I've got to come up with a plan B. We're going to try to hit this at an angle. Oh, it just wants to pull me right off the hill. There's so much time and energy just to get this little distance. Oh, just sinking. Your foot sinks down and then you've got to lift your foot all the way up here just to get to the next step. Oh. I made it to the top of this little knoll, but that's by no means the top of the hill. Because once I get to the top of this bench, I'm going to have to do it at least one more time. Uh. I made some decent progress, but I got to get up that. All right, I'm going to try switching gears. It's about to get real dark here in a little bit. I need to go and break some trail and figure out where I'm going because it's going to get really hard to navigate. I'm in the wrong place. This ridge dead ends in a razor's edge. My map wasn't detailed enough. There's no way I can get through those alders. And it just, I'd have to go down this valley and up some extremely steep slopes through some very thick brush. I'm just, it's just not an option. The problem is even if I did beat through all this brush, I'm not done. I still have about a mile to go till I get to the plateau. Then on the other side of the mountains, I've got to go through terrain very similar to this again. If I break some equipment or pull a muscle, I am very far from help. This just is feeling like a bad idea. The only way I'm getting out of here is on my own two feet. And I can't go that way. Well, I'm quickly figuring out that I can get down this hill gracefully and quickly. I just can't do both at the same time. Oh. 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 It took me two hours to do all that climbing, but five minutes to get down. Not having to break trail is so much easier. You step down and occasionally find these hollow spots in the snow. And now my snowshoe's trapped. Oh. Oh. Everything's more work in the deep snow. Well, the sun's set and I'm running on twilight. I need to go ahead and make camp. And uh, this looks as good as a place as any. So let's find out what's underneath this snow. This is why I'm having so much trouble getting up those hills. The snow is so light and granular. Just doesn't hold any weight. Ooh, boink. Oh, without my snowshoes, I go straight to the bottom. So check out this big mass right here under the snow. I'm assuming that that's a root ball from a tree that's fallen over. That's gonna make an excellent heat reflector and a great place to build my fire. So if I put my fire up there against the root ball, I'm gonna put my bed right here. I need to build a wall around it to keep the wind out.
my water's getting a little hard. Yeah, that's gonna be ice pretty soon. I better get a fire going. All right, it is getting cold. I need to start finding some firewood. Oh, that feels good. My gloves are soaked. I dry these things out. Now that's doing the trick. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully, I'll keep my water bottles from freezing. Yeah, my blood's not pumping quite as hard as it was, and the air's getting colder. Oh, it feels good to sit down. I think my next order of business is get some dinner ready. Well, I'm melting some snow for my dinner, but that's gonna take a little while, so uh, I'm gonna have some little snacks. Cheese, crackers, and salami here. Got a feral pig salami from Texas. Nice cheese, wild boar salami, and a Ritz cracker. Wow. Ooh. Got this nice blueberry Wensleydale. This is good stuff. Also got some dried figs here. I got some instant curry and rice cooking up and I'm looking forward to that. I'm really hungry and tired. <laughs> and it just tastes so much better than dehydrated camping meals. Oh yeah, here we go. I love this boiling bag rice. It's just great for campouts like this. Little instant Japanese curry here, just heat and serve. Lived off this stuff though when I was in Japan. All right, curry and rice and a piece of pilot bread to eat with it, not too shabby. All right, I got a little bit of dessert planned. I've got some dehydrated creme brulee. Not sure how that's gonna work, but you know, we'll see. Okay. All right, I'm supposed to add cold water. Luckily, I know where I can find some. Stir briskly and I sprinkle the uh, caramelized sugar on the top. I'll give that a go. It kind of tastes just like butterscotch pudding, but you know, a little bit of creme brulee flavor in there. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That was more sugar than I usually eat in a whole day, but not too bad. Now they got dinner in me, I need to do something about my bed. The ground here is really lumpy. There's about a five, six inch dip right there. And then there's like a 10, 12 inch dip right there.
on have we got? Oh, that stupid thing popped it. Uh, we'll find out how good of a job I did tonight. Hopefully this will hold air, because if not, it's gonna be a really miserable night. All right, moment of truth. Well, it's been about 30 minutes and my ugly patch job seems to be holding air. Enough air that I think we can give it a go. Now it's nice and level. Down booties, keep my toes warm. Down pants, we're gonna try. Well, it's pretty late and I'm very tired, so I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. Ah, oh, good morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. and uh, I think I'm gonna get up. I need to get an early start. I've been thinking about it, and I think I figured out how I'm gonna get out of here without having to go back up that hill. I think I got a plan B. But uh, it's, it's pretty cold right now. It feels just a little bit above zero. I get that fire going. It snowed a bit last night. There's quite a bit of snow on my tarp. <laughs> my boot froze to the ground. <sighs> We got about an inch or two of snow last night. It is really, really cold. I have got to get this fire started. <clears throat> oh, that's the stuff right there. Oh, that's nice. I'm in a little bit of a hurry today, so we are gonna bust out our stove because we gotta boil a bunch of water and get some breakfast made. Oh, my stove's frozen. Ah, uh, no matter how clean the snow looks, there's always floaties in it. You get a lot of junk in your water when you melt snow. Some of it floats, some of it sinks. You pour off the first little bit to get the floaters out, and then you throw away the last little bit so you don't get the stuff that's on the bottom in your water. That'll take care of about 95% of the junk. I'm in a bit of a hurry this morning, so we're going super simple. Instant oatmeal. Some instant oatmeal with little bits of alder twigs in it. Well, it's 8 30 in the morning and i'm just starting to see some color in the sky i think it's time for me to get out of here I just kind of use the leftover water to clean out my cup and then you drink it melting snow takes forever you don't waste water <laughs> I gotta tell you, when that fire was in there, it was toasty warm. That was a good shelter. I think it's time for me to make some tracks. I just realized I don't have my glasses. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot my glasses. Oh boy. It would have been over here. They are not there. Yeah, they're not there. I could not find them in the shelter, and yeah, looks like I'm doing this trip without my glasses. Mr. Magoo goes camping. Well, I had a lot of time last night to think about it, and I think I've come up with a plan B how I'm gonna get home. It's gonna be a longer hike, but it's gonna be flatter. So I'm gonna have to make some serious tracks if I'm gonna make it to where I wanna be tomorrow.
All right, guys, I was looking at my map last night and I think I figured out my plan B. I'm gonna follow these railroad tracks and they're gonna take me the wrong direction for a lot of miles, but eventually it's gonna open up to a marshy frozen river bottom that I can take around this mountain and get to where I wanna go. It's much further, but it's flatter and I won't have to struggle against the brush as much, which is a big deal. Because this is flat open ground, I'm gonna switch over to my skis. All right. These trekking skis float on the snow a lot better than the snowshoes do, so you don't have to pick your leg up. You just kind of slide across the snow and it burns a lot less energy. But unfortunately, they don't do well maneuvering around the woods or going up hills. Well, I got a bit of a rough day ahead of me and I'm way behind schedule, but look at this, this is gorgeous. Looks like a Hallmark Christmas special out here. Well, I'm trying to keep an eye out for moose. Without my glasses, if I see a moose, I am definitely too close. <laughs> so right over there, that's the bench I was trying to get on top of yesterday. And I've got to find a way around that. I'm not crossing this bridge because it's safe. I'm doing it because it's better than crossing that creek. My seal skins keep coming off. Seal skins are basically synthetic hair that allows you to slide forward but grips when you push backwards. It's what allows you to scoot across the snow and pull your polk easily. But this right one is loose fitting and it keeps coming off every mile or so. Hopefully this problem doesn't get worse. But if it does, I'll bust out my snowshoes. But that's the sketchy part of going out in this deep snow. If your snowshoes or your skis break, you're stuck. Check it out, fresh moose tracks. One of my big concerns is I'll come across a moose on the tracks and that moose won't get out of the way for me. It seems like every year in Alaska, someone gets attacked by a moose while cross country skiing. Hey, check it out. There's somebody's shovel and their sled right there. Someone's got a homestead or a cabin off in the woods over there. And this is where they come to access the railroad to get into town to buy supplies. And when they come back from town with all their groceries, they'll put it in the sled and take it off into the woods. There's not a lot of snow on that sled. They probably caught the train that I hopped off of. Yesterday when I was on snowshoes, I was averaging about one mile per hour. On this flat terrain with my cross country skis, I'm doing about 2.4 miles per hour. I'm making much better time. Oh, we picked up about an extra inch of snow since I started and it's making the sled harder to pull. You know, snow conditions have a huge impact on your ability to travel in the winter time. If we were to get a dump of a foot or two of this light powdery stuff, we wouldn't be able to do diddly squat until the snow settled and compacted a little bit. Check it out, there's two moose up there on the hill. Look how deep they're sinking. Their bellies are rubbing in the snow. All right, I think I'm gonna take a little lunch break. You know, these cookies aren't as good frozen. I need to eat quick, I'm starting to get cold. All right, enough lollygagging, let's get going. Really happy with my sled. I've been looking to buy a polk for a number of years. Finally found one that was made here in Alaska by a company called Northern Sled Works. Turns out they're the same company that makes the Arctic oven hot tent that I use. I'm really pleased with it. It's much lighter and pulls a lot better than my ice fishing sleds. Oh, the snow just keeps coming down. It's getting deeper and deeper. I can't even see my skis anymore. All right, there's the bench we've been trying to get around. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I've been going for about five hours. And uh, we're a little more than halfway done with what I wanted to accomplish today. It's gonna be a long day today. My feet are starting to really kill me. I'm worried I'm gonna start getting blisters real soon here. I'm making good time, but this is taking it out of me. My feet are getting chewed up. I'm a little worried about whether I'm gonna make my destination tonight. Oh, that sure is pretty. I'm tired. 
Really tired. We're starting to climb over the foothill of a little mountain here, and you can see the valley to our left. And on the other side, that's the mountain we were trying to get around. Still got a long way to go before I get to any highways or roads, but it's a big milestone. But the sun's gonna set on me any minute now. All right guys, I've been skiing for about two hours past sunset and I am exhausted. It's time to make camp. Uh, but I made really good time and uh, I'm on target. So I'm feeling good about what we did today. Oh, oh, oh. oh that pole tried to pull me off my feet. Hey, let's find a spot. Now that's looking pretty good right in there. I'm just waiting for my water to boil so I can make some tea and make a, some dinner and I am just freezing. It has gotten really cold out with the setting of the sun. And now that I'm not moving, it's, <laughs> it's nippy. I am so cold and so thirsty. Took a couple hours, but I melted about three liters of water. I got it boiling hot. Just gonna put that in my sleeping bag. All right, guys, I'm freezing my butt off. I think it's time to go to bed. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning. Oh, it got really cold last night. It stopped snowing and then cleared up and the temperature dropped really aggressively. I think it was around zero. Once I get out of the sleeping bag, it's it's gonna be bitterly cold. So I wanna start moving as soon as I can. Let's, let's do this. My socks were a little wet last night, so I took them off and put them in my bag. Now they're all nice and dry. Smell horrible though. Okay, these puffy pants I bought are the best thing ever. They are so warm. My legs and feet get so cold at night. Oh, my hot water bottles. Hopefully that'll defrost them a little bit. Oh, the sweat from my hands made my gloves a little damp. And now they're a little bit frozen. The snow here was so soft yesterday, but after that cold snap last night, it's really firmed up. It's gonna make life a lot better. Just having that snow a little bit more frozen makes all the difference in the world. Well, last night in the darkness, I finally made it around the toe of the mountain and I set up camp right after leaving the railroad tracks. So now today, I've got an easy jaunt across flat ground, but I still got a brake trail and my legs or feet are very sore. You can't see any landmarks in these forests, so I'm navigating completely by GPS right now. Gotta make sure your batteries are charged. You get lost really easy just going through straight forests like this. Going under branches like this will get you soaked. So, going. Then you don't get snow down in the back of your shirt. Oof. 
just stepped in a tree well. Uh. Uh. Some of the little trees get buried in the snow and it creates an air pocket. And if you step on one of them, whoop, you go all the way down, trips you up. See all those alders right there? You walk in that, you'll hit a lot of tree wells. Oh, can you guys hear that? I can hear the highway. We're close. Oh, I think I see it. There we go. Ooh. We made it. This is the first people I've seen since I got off the train. Well guys, I did it. Not the way I was planning, but I did it. I think I broke about 18 miles of trail. That is really intense. Now I just need to wait for my ride to come. I need to get my jacket out too. I'm already freezing. Oh, it is no joke cold today. All right, I think my ride's here. They're a little early, is that okay? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, it's so nice to be warm. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I made it back safe and sound and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. All right guys, I'll see you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.